I just saw Apartment 7A about a dancer who struggles to get work after sustaining an injury during a performance. She stumbles into an old couple outside of an apartment building, and they offer her a place to stay. Soon after, strange occurrences begin to happen. I really enjoyed this movie. As someone who went into this blind, Julia Garner gives another stunning performance and carries the movie well. I could somewhat relate to this character because they're in the entertainment industry and they face challenges when it comes to getting work and the desperation that comes with it. The movie has great pacing and there's almost never a dull moment. My eyes were glued to the screen and I was fully invested even though nothing horrifying was happening yet. All the characters are are so well written that this probably didn't even need to be a horror movie. It could have just been a character study. The best parts were the build-ups to the unknown. Unfortunately, I didn't care for the elderly couple who helps the lead character. I thought the husband was forgettable. I honestly can't even remember any scenes with him besides the ending. And the woman was too over the top and her voice needed to be toned down. The red flags were overwhelming, so much so that it was hard to believe that anyone would want to live near this person. But this was the 60s, so times were different back then. I wish they had taken their time with the couple being creepy because they were just so creepy right off the bat. The development of the story was better than the final outcome. The last 30 minutes where everything unfolds left little to be desired. And as the minutes passed by and we're getting closer and closer to the ending, I was dreading that this was going to turn into another generic, demonic, final girl type of film. And the ending blew me away and won me over. And I give this a 7.5 out of 10 definitely one of the best movies I've seen this year.